Alright, today we're trying something I've never done before, which is using my iPhone to vibe code. I came across this app called Uwear that lets you vibe code directly from your phone. Honestly, I have no idea what to expect, but I do have some cool project ideas I want to build out, so I'm really excited to try this. By the way, if you want to download the app for yourself, you can get it on both the Apple and Google Play Store. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I've just downloaded Uwear. I'm going to click on it. I need to create an account, so let's continue with Google. Going to sign in. Nice, okay, I'm inside now. So let's take a quick look and see what we can do here. On the left hand side, there's an explore feature. And here you can see the different projects that the community has posted. So for example, monster truck driving game. Okay, I'm going to bring my car forward. Okay. Oh, this reminds me of one of the games I used to play a lot. I think it was called Hill Climb Racing. All right, I can actually remix this game. So I'm going to click on remix and I can type in any changes I want to make, which is interesting. So I'm just going to type in make the theme of the game Christmas. Let's give it a moment to load. And up the top here, we can see that it's using Gemini 3 Pro. So later we can see what other AI models it has. Cool, so now the game is ready to play. We can see here that it used 51 credits and this is something we can look at later on as well. But yeah, let me close this window and take a look at the game. Oh, and if I don't like the game, I can actually request a full credits refund, which is interesting. Let's give this game a go. Nice, so it's pretty much the same game as before, except there's snow falling from the sky. Okay, I'm going to click on publish now and let's see what it does. I'm going to copy link and then share this with my friends. Now, going back to the app, I actually want to explore creating a project from scratch because so far what we've just done is remix someone else's project. I think this community tab is really great for coming up with new ideas. So if you're not too sure what to build, you can pretty much scroll through an endless amount of ideas. But going back to the middle tab, you can see here that I can create my own project. So for the longest time, I've wanted to build some AWS games, pretty much games to help beginners learn AWS cloud. So I'm going to type in create a game that helps me learn AWS. Oh, and before I even complete my sentence, it suggests one thing to do. So in this case, interactive challenges and quizzes. I have my own idea, so I'm not going to go with the suggested one. A game that matches cloud services with their definitions. For example, give service definition and user has to select the right service. You can see at the bottom here, there's also a voice section. So that's something you can definitely use instead of just typing it out. Okay, now it's generating my app. A few moments later. So I've just got a notification that my app has finished building. Let's take a look. We can see a summary of what Uware has done. So it's created a few folders, updated code, analyzed a few files. Now time for the fun part. Ooh, okay, check out this AWS Cloud Quiz. There's 10 questions and they're categorized into different topics. So the first one's security. Let's see, which one is it? Okay, so which service enables you to manage access to AWS services and resources securely? This of course is AWS IAM. So I'm gonna click on IAM and yeah, it's correct. I'm going to click on next question. And for this second question, I'm going to purposely answer it wrong. So yeah, definitely Lambda, not really. So AWS Lambda, yes, it's incorrect. It also gives you the correct answer in green. This is pretty much what I was looking for, but I can always add on more features. For example, add in 10 more questions and motivate students through an inspirational quote at the bottom. Cool, let's see what happens. By the way, you can also see the thinking process. So it says, all right, I'm going to add these 10 questions. It thinks, it analyzes the files and it edits the code. I mean, for a mobile app, I'm quite impressed. We can also take a look at the laptop version later on. All right, so here's the updated quiz. You can see there's 20 questions now and at the bottom, there's a smart inspirational quote. It says, the expert in anything was once a beginner. So similar to the previous app, I can just copy link and share this with anyone. Vibe coding is also a really good way to make money. I've just created a simple app, but if you keep working on it, you can publish it maybe even to the app store. 
All right, before I leave you to vibe code your own application, let's take a look at the pricing of this tool. So as a new user, you get 500 credits for free, which is a very generous amount. They also have a pro and ultra plan if you want to build bigger projects. And as for the AI models you can use, they have Gemini, GPT, Claude, and a few others. Overall, I really like this vibe coding on the go idea. When inspiration hits, you don't have to wait to start working on your idea. Uware has both a web and mobile version, so you can start off on your phone and then continue the project on your laptop. Here are the two projects that I built and remixed on my phone. You can see that I could just click on them and pick up where I left off. And so if you haven't played around with vibe coding tools yet, I'd highly recommend you start today. To try Uware for yourself, off, I've left a link in the description below for you to get started. As you've seen from my demo, it's super easy to use, even for beginners. Okay, this brings us to the end of this video. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below and give this video a like if you found it helpful. Bye for now!